Well, I've come to speak to the Minister of Home Affairs, June Morrison, about the announcement that uh, there's going to be money spent in the police force. This is for a new set of cells, or custody suite, as you'd like to call it, I suppose, to be built I mean, up at the main police station. Um, this might surprise quite a few people. Where where's this come from? Why do you need this, for instance, now? Well, the existing cell block that we have up at police headquarters is over 30 years old. It's no longer up to modern standards, so we plan to mothball it and build a modular structure in the ca what is currently the car park at the back of police headquarters. Uh, this will solve a number of problems for us, first of all being the, the, the standard of the existing block that's there. The second one is uh, actually about capacity and on a busy night sometimes you need more than 10 cells. So we'll go from 10 cells to 20 cells. That'll mean that we save money um, not having to open Lord Street and Port Erin as secondary stations uh, and we should be able to run the whole operation far more efficiently with the delivery of this modular uh, cell. What's going to happen though surely is you're going to close Lord Street. Isn't that been one of your sort of cost-cutting yeah. measures? So this is we need more space, basically. We haven't got Lord Street at some point. Have you got a, a cut-off time for this yet? Or is that yep. still being talked about? Uh, we want to have uh, this modular uh, cells structure in place uh, by the end of next year with a view to uh, commissioning it very soon after into uh, early 2015. And we want to be off the Lord Street site in that sort of time frame. And you de definitely have to do it there because I mean, even the police HQ is looking pretty tired. You said yourself, it's a 30 old, what was quite a funky building, dare I say, in its time. It had its bar for the police within, and it was all a bit modern. I remember, you know, 79, wasn't it Millennium Year, I think? It That's opened. right, it was opened in 1979. The bar's not there anymore. No. Um, but of course, the range of policing functions has changed significantly over that time. So um, there are a whole host of different options as to how we, you know, structure where policemen are based going forward. And there will still be a presence up at police headquarters, uh, although not necessarily everyone who's there now will continue to be there forevermore. So uh, certainly in the, in the immediate term though, it's just a matter of expanding capacity at police headquarters. Is there a future though for that police station or are you just going to do this first and then put another order in uh, for some more money to knock down the police station in just a few more years time? Well, apart from the custody area, that's the only really sort of specialist area up there. I mean, there are, there's, there's the emergency services joint control room at the back of it. That's got a lot of sort of hard wiring in it. So I think we are pretty committed to the site and it's a very good site in terms of access to both Douglas and Onken and further afield. So it does have a lot of strengths to it. Um, we have, however, identified the, the custody suite as being a particular um, weakness in that um, estate's side. And this will provide not just sort of custody cells, but also better facilities for advocates, for medical facilities and, and other sort of ancillary stuff to go on that are required as part of that custody suite. How much money though is this all going to cost? I mean, it's not going to come cheap, is it? No, it's not particularly cheap. It's about three million pounds. Can you afford that? Uh, yeah, I think it's something that we have to do anyway because of the, the standards that we have at police headquarters at the moment and the capacity issues that we've got at police headquarters at the moment. So it's something that we need. Uh, and the £3 million for the modular structure compares very favourably to £6 million for a traditional build. So I think we do have a, a very clear justification for it. Because the Chief Constable's on record again saying, you don't cut me much further, there's not much left to go. And then, you know, what could be seen as money for policing is going to have to be found, well, to pay for this. Well, of course, the, the difference with this money is that we have to pay it back to Treasury, this £3 million, as opposed to money that we use on policing, which we get from Treasury year on year. So, yes, the, the revenue budget we are uh, looking carefully at in terms of the, our ongoing cost year on year. This sort of capital budget is about sort of investing money and the capital to save on the revenue. So we don't have the extra costs about opening Lord Street. We don't have the extra capital, the extra revenue costs of putting sergeants down at uh, Lord Street in order to monitor custody when people are moved down there. So there are these sort of um, knock-on revenue savings out of this sort of capital investment. Are you doing a pitch to uh, the members before it goes for the, the vote or are you just confident you're going to get it straight away? Well, at the moment, this is in for planning permission. Um, if it clears the planning permission hurdle, then we will need to go to Tinwood for the money. And any ideas if you feel you're going to get it? I mean, what's the feeling out there? Well, I, the, it's not in a residential neighbourhood, so I'd like to think that um, we should be able to get this uh, facility on the essentially what isn't currently a car park at the moment. Um, I would hope that there's not going to be any significant objections, but if there are, then that's a matter for, for planning and there's a due process for that. And if it all goes to plan, you, you want to be 
on that site really re-equipped what in two years time less than that by, by december next year we want to have it in situ on the police station site and that will at the same time see the end of lord street will it basically that that will mean that of only critical dependency around lord street as an overflow police station will finished and will be in a far better position than to move out of lord street very soon after that